Pastor John, this week we have received three emails asking if you would share your testimony of coming to Christ and your earliest memories of being a Christian. Well, God saved me out of a life of drugs and crime and sex when I was six years old. (laughs) Brilliant. (laughs) I got that from David Michael. I love it. Um, At my mother's knee in a motel in Florida on vacation. And um, I am blown away 61 years later. I was six then. 61 years later, even though, Tony, I cannot remember it. Um, And I think I want to encourage people here who don't remember the precise moment of their conversion. I want to encourage them. How can I say it blows me away that God saved me when I was six if I don't remember it? How can I say that? Isn't that ridiculous or a contradiction? And I got two answers. I mean, my answer is no, it's not a contradiction. And I got two reasons. Um, One is the Bible tells me what happened to me, not my memory and not my experience. And you know what? I would say to those who have a stunning testimony that they do remember, be careful. Your memory and your experience are fallible and can be misled. And at the root, you better find out what happened to you from the Bible. And at root, then, we're both going to have the same testimony. What happened to me that it was that I was raised from the dead. <laughs> And I remember our youth, our youth pastor, Kempton Turner, said to a whole hundreds of young people, he said, the resurrection of the dead is never boring. <laughs> no, none of you has a boring testimony. And that's true. That's absolutely true. I was raised from the dead when I was six. God Almighty took out the heart of stone and put in a heart of flesh. He opened my eyes to see the light of the gospel. I was blind, and he let me see even a six-year-old dimension of his truth. Um, I received the gift of faith. It was a pure miracle, a pure gift. Repentance was given to me by a sovereign act of God. So, So that's my first reason for saying I'm blown away. I'm blown away by something I don't remember because the Bible tells me what happened to me. And that's way more reliable than if I could remember it. And here's the other reason. Uh, I'm blown away by my conversion that I don't remember because of the unbelievable sinfulness of John Piper that I have watched for 61 years. I have watched me for a long time. And I have hated the remaining corruption in me for a long time. There's a lot in me I do not like. And what I see in it, the more mature I become, is how tendentious it is. How uh, prone it is to wander. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that if there were not sovereign grace at the beginning and sovereign grace at every moment along the way what I see of my sin since my conversion is enough to damn me totally and therefore I am amazed I don't have to remember a horrible life of sinning before I was saved in order to tremble at my sin Um, and so anybody, anybody who feels like they wish they you know, had gone some awful way and then been plucked out of that awfulness and have a nice story to tell. I just don't think they're looking at the mirror very carefully. Uh, There is enough corruption in us to make us tremble and to make us feel how incalculably horrible sin is and how precious grace is and to be blown away that God broke into our life and created this hatred for sin and created this longing for for righteousness and created our reliance on God. So my, uh, my story is one that I can't remember and I hope it encourages 
Manny. Thank you, Pastor John, and thank you to all the listeners who have sent in email questions. We get an average of about 750 questions every week, and we do read them all. Of course, we can answer about five of them a week, but we appreciate your questions. They do play an important role in helping to shape the content and direction of this daily podcast, so thank you. Continue sending your questions to us at AskPastorJohn at DesiringGod.org. I'm your host, Tony Ranke. Thanks for listening.